I had a friend that went through a bad spell. They said that they were hearing voices, that they had thoughts that they couldn't control, and they wondered if they were going crazy, or how did that happen? Could someone do that to you? So I started thinking about it. Well, if you wanted to create a machine or a way of doing that, I guess first you would need a way to implant some sort of receiver into the human body. Over the years, receivers available have gotten smaller and smaller. People think that a microchip as being a little thing you can hold between your fingertips, the sort of thing you might find in a phone. But microchips are way, way smaller than that now. You can get a pile of things underneath your fingernail. You could get one in a syringe and through a needle, I guess, you could inject it. You could get one in a spray even and blow it up someone's nose. That small, yeah. Not that anyone would want to do that. To microchip themselves, I guess. But other people might want to. Anyway, the second necessity would be for the transmitter. And that's not difficult at all. You need a tall post of some kind, uh, a flagpole, a tall building, or a pylon of some kind, a tower, I guess. And then you need to stick your transmitter on top of it so that you can send its messages over a wide area. That bit's easy. Something like a, a radio transmitter, or I suppose like, or I suppose like one of those things that sends signals to mobile phones. It would have to be a little bit more sophisticated than the old mobile phone tower, I guess. So, so that's all the equipment you need. A little chip in the body of the person you want to control and the transmitter to send the messages. Now, if you were a mad doctor and you wanted to control an individual, it would be eh, not that tough. You just tell them that uh, you were giving them some kind of an injection to protect them against a flu or something like that and a syringe there'd be a little receiver and then you'd stick a transmitter on the roof of the house across the road from when they li where they lived and then you could send messages to make them do whatever you wanted them to do you could make them sad or angry or happy or contented you could make them run or fight or spend all day in bed of course, if you wanted to do the same thing to lots of people, you'd need a whole lot of people to help you. Say you were a really bad person and you wanted to control the entire population, for, in for instance. <clears throat> you could make people do whatever you wanted them to do. You could make them go shoplifting or commit murder or vote for somebody or commit suicide or anything you wanted them to do. If you wanted a smaller population, you could make everyone stop wanting to have children. It would be terribly easy. If you wanted to do this, you'd need someone very rich to start with. Someone with loads of money and contacts. A billionaire, really. And someone without much in the way of morals. And you'd need something to inject into people. A medicine of some kind. And then you'd need someone good at software to help you with the transmitting and the receiving. And you'd need people with access to lots of tall poles or roofs where you could put the transmitters but none of that would be any good unless you had a reason for injecting people you can't just go around injecting people for no reason ideally you'd need them to be frightened of something so that they were anxious to get you to inject them and then you need to put tiny receivers into the stuff that was being injected or squirted up their noses or whatever it was it was the means of getting it into them but that would be a very tricky thing to organize because ideally you need a threat of some kind you need to tell everyone that they were going to get the plague or something if they didn't do what you wanted them to do and get this wonderful antidote that you could provide that might work but for that, you'd need a really big scare. And that wouldn't be possible because you need some experts to say that there was a big scare coming in when there really wasn't. So they need to make up something or find something and then exaggerate it. Or you find someone not very good at what they did and get them to make a forecast that terrified everyone and scared the living shit out of them. You could, I suppose, 
make them so scared that they were happy to put up with all sorts of rules and restrictions and that you could tell people that if they didn't do what you told them to do then scary things were going to happen worse than ever like in a second wave say you'd need experts and advisors who had links to the companies making the stuff that you were planning to give people and you need to have them promise all sorts of things. You need probably some kind of greedy and compliant politicians too to back you up. So it really wouldn't be possible to arrange all that, I guess, or, or would it? And anyway, there's another problem because you would need to keep people separated so that you could make sure that the messages weren't transmitted and getting confused between the individual receivers. You'd need to have people standing several feet apart at all times, and there's no way you could ever do that. So I guess you really couldn't do it, could you?